Hey, it's Pastor Mike. Are you a Bible nerd like I am? <laughs> well, even if you're not, I know you're really going to love our podcast called Bible Threads with Dr. Bruce Becker. Bruce is a friend and a colleague at Time of Grace, and he's a great teacher of the Bible. In his podcast, he uncovers the threads that run through the scriptures from beginning to end, and I'm not exaggerating when he will help you dig deeper than ever before into God's Word. He's going to inspire you to live with greater confidence and joy as he does. So just search for Bible Threads wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Lord, don't you care? Lord, save us! Ever have thoughts like that before? God, why aren't you paying attention? Don't you know what's going on in my life? Why won't you do something, God? These are the kinds of thoughts that we hear from the disciples today. They are on the Sea of Galilee again. They are in a boat. And as is prone to happen because of the geography and topography, a storm suddenly rose up. And, and the storm was so bad that these disciples, some of them experienced fishermen, they thought they were going to drown. The water was coming in the boat. And, and there's Jesus in the back of the boat, sleeping. Teacher, don't you care if we drown? That's a pretty hefty accusation. Jesus, don't you care about us? Well, Jesus had a full sermon for these disciples in just a few short words. He stood up in the boat and said, Quiet, be still. And the winds and the waves obeyed, and they, and they died down, and the storm stopped. And then he looked at them, and, and here's what Jesus said. Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? You know, sometimes people really stretch this story, and they make it into one big parable or, or allegory for their lives. Jesus will calm all the storms of your life. Okay, fine. Jesus flexes his divine muscles here and he helped them and he can help us too. We get that. But I want you to think bigger picture with this story here. Look at these words that Jesus spoke. Again, spoke. Just like in the beginning when God spoke. He said, let there be light and phew, there was light. Created the whole universe just by speaking. This is the same God who said, be still and the winds and the waves obeyed here. The same God who said, get up, and a dead person rose, as we'll hear in just a few days this week. And so I want you to think that this is the same God, the same Jesus, who hung from a cross and said, it is finished. And it was. All your sins, all your wrongs were paid for. Your guilt was erased. The doors of heaven opened. Eternal life won for you. You see, when God speaks, things happen. We don't have a God who simply dozes off, who doesn't care, who doesn't know what's going on in your life. And so he says to you today, why are you so afraid? The same God who said all those other things is the same God who also says in the Bible, surely I'm with you always, or never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. When our God speaks, it always happens just as he says. Yes, we see today in this miracle Jesus who is true man. He was tired, he was sleeping, but we also see Jesus as true God, the Almighty One who has power over heaven and earth. And that, my friends, is your Jesus, true God and true man and truly your Savior. <laughs>